Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 7A here, and we are coming to you for Cobra Convergence 7. And here we are at Joe Fest before Cobra Convergence 7, and I have a couple guys here I would like for them to introduce themselves. These are the guys from Podcast from the Piss. So guys, introduce yourselves to the audience, tell them who you are and what you do. I'm Matt. And I'm Casey. We do a podcast called Podcast so, from the Pit. And you guys were in Cobra Convergence last year. Yes. You're doing Cobra Convergence again this year. Uh, now, we're obviously we're recording this well before Cobra Convergence, uh, but this will come out on the same day that your Cobra Convergence presentation will. Um, have you thought about what you want to do? We're in a thinking process now. In a thinking process now. <laughs> In the thinking process now, uh, but um, it's coming up July. Um, there will be a a link in the description of this video uh, to to you guys' podcast. Um, everybody who hasn't checked it out, make sure you check it out. And as you're seeing this right now, their Cobra Convergence presentation should be going up. So make sure you check the link. Now, guys, um, you've been doing a podcast. How long have you been going on the podcast? About three years. Closing in on three years. Coming on three years. Um, what what inspired you to start a podcast? What was the, the impetus that got you guys going? My wife. She. Uh, we were talking about GI Joes and you know, ripping on each other's Joes, and she's like, "You guys should just record this." So we're like, "Yeah, why not?" I mean, we enjoy talking about it. Maybe people will enjoy listening to it. That's awesome. Uh, and so. Uh, obviously, people are going to check out your Cobra Convergence stuff, um, but you've, I mean, you've got lots of episodes. What kind of uh, content should people expect when they check out your podcast? What are they going to get? Uh, mostly, we just do uh, we do like a top ten list and of figures, and then maybe five of play sets and vehicles. That's probably the majority of our content. Going year by year. And yeah. Uh, we got, we well, we started out as kind of we did some like like modern or collection, and then we started going through the years. Uh, and, and that's fantastic. Uh, and you guys, you, now you've got some experience in review belt. You've been doing it for a while. Two-time Cobra Convergence participants. And again, thank you guys for doing it. I thank really you. appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we were glad to get invited. Yeah, I, I I'm, I'm thrilled that you guys are in. So, at the moment. We are at Joe Fest, and we have a unique. Uh, this is the only interview that we're doing for Cobra Convergence at Joe Fest. We have a unique situation here where we can talk about our Joe Fest experience. I've seen you guys all weekend. Tell us about how your weekend has been. We had a good time. Uh, we put up our episode. I had uh, my my main things I was looking for was a sign figure from Larry Hama. I was lucky that they had him here, uh, so I didn't have to pay. An insane price. Uh, I was able to get a, a Keon, uh, Keon Young uh, figure from Chicken Fried Toys and get him to sign that. And I was able to get some uh, artwork from different different artists. That's awesome. It, it, I think it's been a great uh, convention this year. It's been a nice, yeah. I yeah. So. This I, is our third. It's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing you guys last year. This the energy this year I think has been just fantastic. Yeah. I've met so many people this year that I've only seen on TV yeah. or online, and they've all been so nice. It's just been great. And you guys, this is your appearance here, so hopefully um, you guys have been able to meet some fans while you're here. Uh, yes, you. Are, are you, is this going to be a, like a regular annual thing, you coming back each year? Unless as long as we can. Yeah. 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 So um, even though like we're wrapping up Joe Fest this time, for next time, um, you, any fans of Podcasts from the Pit, this is where you can come and meet them in person. Uh, like I did. I mean, I, I, got, I saw you guys like around all weekend. It was really cool. Um, so, uh, did you have a favorite moment? I had a good time with the panels. Yes, we got to see more panels this week. Yeah. Got to meet so many cool people. I mean, it's just, I probably won't even be able to process it until <laughs> next week. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, we should focus on Cobra Convergence. I, I know we're talking about Joe Fest because, well, there it is. Uh, but, uh, but, 
people will be seeing this for Cobra conversion. So let's let's keep let's do a little bit of Cobra focus here. Um, let's talk about and I ask everyone this because it's my favorite question. Your favorite Cobra character. Who is your favorite Cobra? It has to be specifically Cobra and be Firefly. Okay, good one. Good one. Good one. Destro. Destro, also a good one. Uh, so, so what what is, what draws you to Firefly? Why why is he your favorite? I think he just looks cool. Uh, Blow stuff up. <laughs> the very Cobra like. That's uh, and, and Destro. So what what draws you to Destro? He was always the brains behind it. He was just businessman. Yeah. Uh, he'll play either side against each other for his profit. Yeah, uh, a very interesting and multi-layered character. Um, so yeah, the, the good answers, good answers. Um, you guys um, was it, were into GI Joe's when, when you were kids. Yes. Um, uh, tell us about that. Tell us about uh, your first experience with GI Joe when you were getting into it as, as young people. Mine was in '82. I was mm -hmm. 10 years old. Bought uh, was at a place called 3D. They don't exist anymore. But saw Breaker. Yeah. He had all that gear, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, this guy's cool. And uh, my parents, I mean, right from that moment on, there's no more Star Wars, there's G.I. Joe. <laughs> so I had to get them all. Yeah, yeah. And Breaker was number one. Breaker was also my number one. Yeah. yeah. Well, how, how did you get it? What, what brought you to it the first time around? I was younger uh, than Casey. So. The first figure I actually remember opening was Undertow. That's the conventions. Uh, I know I had some other Joes, but I think those were more like where my you know, mom would pick maybe something up at a, a flea market or at a yard sale. But Undertow was the one that I, re I can remember Undertow. opening. Undertow with the fish. Yes, yes, Barracuda. Yeah, Barracuda, yeah. <laughs> cool. So, I mean, a lot of the folks that I've talked to, not all of them, but a lot of the folks that I've talked to, um, at some point they kind of got out of G.I. Joe and they got back in. Did you guys have that experience? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what, what kind of brought you back into it? It was random. Yeah, we were, uh, I was looking for some Walking Dead figures. I've always collected some kind of toys, but uh, we went to the Louisville Toy Mall. He was looking for... I was looking for some older tractors, actually. Yeah. And we saw a group of Joes hanging there. I was like, you know, I love these when I was a kid. And I picked up, it was uh, Iceberg. Iceberg. I had Iceberg in my hand. I was like, I really want to get this. And he's like, you get one, I'll get one. So we got our ones. Those turned into shopping trips to uh -huh. Ohio, Kentucky, went into Kokomo Toys. Uh -huh. Yep. That's how and it starts. Skyrocket. I, I remember I got my uh, my uh, the helicopter, not the dragonfly, but the tomahawk. 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 There we go. Sorry, the tomahawk. Yeah. I got it at Kokomo Toys, and I remember saying, "Man, I don't know if I can spend a hundred dollars on a vehicle," but I loved it, so I got it, took yeah. it home, and now that's a, a, I spend more than that for a figure now. Yeah. Uh, and that, hey, that's it a great you. deal on the tomahawk. Oh yeah, right? but that yeah. was like three years ago. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're not getting in depth for that. No, now. within just within the last three years, things have gone yeah. crazy. Um, well, guys, uh, again, thank you for being in Cobra Convergence. A reminder to everyone that there will be a link in the description of this video. Uh, their Cobra Convergence con contribution should be up as you're seeing this. So as soon as you're done watching this, go check that link and check them out. Um, I, as we wrap up, this is what I like to do. I like to give the floor to you guys to say anything, any final words that you'd like to say to the audience. When I say final words, I don't mean like last words, like we're about to be executed, but I mean any last words in the interview that you would like to say to, to uh, our viewers. Uh, I just think uh, we really appreciate everybody that's followed us and checked our content out. And it's, it's been fun meeting, you know, everybody we've been able to meet. Yes, pretty much so. Honored to be a part of Cobra Convergence twice. Twice. All right. Well, thank you guys, and uh, it's been really cool catching up with you this weekend. Thank you for bringing in Cobra Convergence. Uh, and I'll just say to the audience right now, we're going to wrap up. Uh, but uh, go to the link in the description of the video right now and check out these guys for Cobra Convergence. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.